When the pre-dawn automated weather told me the sky above Immokalee Municipal was clear below 12,000 feet, I was really eager to do some more test flying of my kit Fox called Romeo. However, there was some concern that the temperature and dew point were stacked together at 17 Celsius because Immokalee is prone to fog even when everywhere else is clear. Horizontal bands of clouds seen ahead here are actually much closer than they appeared to me. I was about to fly right into the soup. In a quick moment of aerial decision making, I decided that it would be wiser to get on the ground to study the available weather resources for the distinct possibility that low ceiling would spread toward the south over a larger area. 
After relaxing for about a half hour while studying the nearby reports, I took off again for a flight of an hour and 20 minutes in beautiful conditions. Watch for the details in an upcoming video. Really, I'm sympathetic to the plight of the paramotor crowd. They've lost all of the fields where they flew from in the past. Having flown hang gliders for several decades, I've experienced the heartache of losing great places to fly. Now they're forced to bring their ultralights to the last refuges of free flight remaining, a good old municipal airport. Well, that was a little gnarly. We uh, took off and it looked just kind of hazy to the north, but boy, I'll tell you what, there was a thick bank of stuff at about seven or 800 feet that you can really just not see from here because the sky conditions are so flat. And I darn near flew into it. I definitely had some limited visibility. considering that um, it is a beautiful calm day, winds aloft are like light and variable all the way to, well, past 3,000 feet, 6,000 is light, definitely excellent conditions, nice cool day, and it is definitely, looks like IMC to the north, doesn't look like it from the ground, but boy, from the air, Woo. Not really into the idea of uh, scud running, or especially, we got a, a, a cold front that kind of turned stationary here, and so we have this stationary front that's sort of forecast to turn into a warm front as it uh, kind of slides its way south. Kind of odd, but these warm front or stationary front days tend to be kind of like this, a little bit socked in, foggy. We had a lot of fog on the field this morning. Ground fog. And now it's actually getting to be some overcast skies. So I did not want to venture any further into that with my little VFR kit box. But I'll tell you what, the wisdom of doing a lot of taxi testing with this thing has really paid off because I've done a lot of high speed taxis with the tail in the air and I am just super comfortable doing that. When that tail comes up, rotates up on takeoff, I'm just right in the groove and the same on landing. When I do a wheel landing, I'm just on the rudder pedals, everything feels very natural. Now, of course, this is mostly in fairly calm winds. I've only done a few, like, crosswinds, like crosswinds, maybe 8 to 10 knots. So, I'm getting there with my flight practice. I'm learning to fly the kit box and getting all the test flying done. I plan to do some uh, climb rate flying today, trying to find the best angle of climb and best rate of climb. I, I, I pretty much know what the best rate of climb is, but it's going to be harder to nail down the best angle. In the end, it was a perfect lesson to illustrate how large gaps between stations reporting VMC could make it easy to inadvertently fly into IMC. I always thought, nah, that'll never happen to me. But now I see how easily it could happen. Don't let it happen to you.